Hey guys, it's Valkyrie here. Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be playing Conan Exiles Age of War. This is going to be a Let's Play series. This is going to be part one. We'll start off by creating a new single player character and see what the character creation is like. I've played the game for about an hour or so already just to get used to the controls. So let's see, what have we got? So we've got Civilized, which I imagine is easy mode, Decadent, and Barbaric. Well, I don't feel like I'll be ready for Barbaric right now, so we're going to start with Decadent, the normal mode, the way the game was supposed to be played. So here we are at character creation, male, female, we'll go male. I feel like we're in extreme disadvantage already being uh, nailed to a cross. So we've got races. I don't know if these actually have any impact on the state of playing the game other than visual. Let's have a look. Religion. Who have we got? So we've got Mitra. Specializations in healing and light. And the avatar is bronze statue. Set. Specializations in poisons and antidotes. The avatar of a giant serpent. Yog. Specialization in flesh preparation and cannibalism. Avatar is tentacled horror. Interesting. Ymir. Specialization is ice and cold and the avatar of a frost giant. Doketo. Specialization of fertility and death. Avatar two faced goddess. Got Krom, which is a specialization of none and avatar of none. Zath. Purity through cleansing and the avatar of a giant spider. I think we're going to go with Doketo, that sounds a bit up my alley. So let's see what our voices sound like. Death is coming. The guards are watching. The guards are watching. Cut me down. Please. Cut me down. Please. The guards are watching. I think we are in a bit of a desperate position at the moment. We'll go for Death desperate, I think. Is coming. Right, let's see what the customizations are like. So we've got the choice of five face sizes or shapes. Then hairstyles. Try and find something a bit, you know, warrior esque. I'm quite a big fan of the, uh, you know, the Viking y style, so maybe we'll go for that. Eyebrows. Facial hair. Now, facial hair is important. Must have a magnificent beard. I like the one with the braids in it. The one with the braids is pretty cool. Oh, now we've got a choice. We've got full beard, single braid, three braids. I like the single braid bow. Full beard. Yeah, I like that. Eyeshadow. Leave it as default. Not gonna play around with the face details too much. Body features. This is for YouTube, so definitely no nudity. YouTube doesn't like that sort of thing. Physique. So, we'll be quite muscular. Been, gotta survive out in the wilderness. Our uh, breast size. Our breast size is pretty good. And this is our guy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings, until fate intervenes.
and survive. We will meet again, dead man. So here we are in the Exiled Lands. I have a little bit of experience in playing survival type games. I've played the Ark quite a lot. Uh, from what I understand, this game's similar in a lot of ways. I don't really understand the story behind it or where we are supposed to be going, so we're going to discover that together. Uh, I can see up in the top right of the screen we've got a few objectives that we need to complete. So survive a search for supplies. Let's do that. Right, we've got not that one. So we've got. F to loot all, so let's do that. Eat and drink. So let's assign some hotkeys here. Gather plant fiber from the bushes. Let's see. E is to gather. Let's get ourselves a couple of bushes here. Try and make ourselves some clothes so we don't get ourselves some, uh, you know, sun blisters out from this uh, searing heat in the desert. Right, stuff automatically equips to you, that's good. So, spend a tribute point. So, in this game, you get tribute points when you level up and you can assign them to certain skills. Upon reaching certain milestones upon the skill tree, you'll unlock these bonus uh, upgrades. So the first one you get after 5, and then I imagine it's 10, 15, 20, but the ones that are linked, you have to choose one of the two. Um, for now, we'll go for strength, do a little bit of extra damage when we're flying, because I think that that's probably going to be our main source of experience early game. So the stronger we do, the stronger we do hit enemies, the less we'll have to hit them. So. Search for more survivors. The road leads north. So let's head on down the road. Find our way out of the desert area. I do enjoy playing survival games. They're a little bit testing. Um, I do like RPG games. So this fits right along in that niche. I've played other games. Um, similar in the survival element I played uh, one called Atlas which is like a pirate survival game where you have to focus a lot more on like separate nutritional elements like having a certain amount of fish meat vegetables in your diet I like this sort of just you know you need to drink you need to eat it doesn't really matter what it is whether that be bugs meat 
berries, whatever you can get your hands on. Right, so click left click is attack. No doubt we'll encounter him later on. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. So there we go, we've got our first sort of primitive tool. We've got some iron from that one. Very good. Craft a stone weapon. Go for the cleaver. No. Oh, we need more branches. I like the fact you don't have to put away your tool in order to continue harvesting. Like, you can pick things up off the floor without needing to put your tool away, which is good. Definitely an improvement than from Ark. One more. Here we go. What type of weapon is this? Let's have a look. So we've got one handed weapon. Very nice. Gather some more bits of bobs. What are we doing now? Craft a stone weapon. Is that not what I just did? Is this not a stone weapon? Skinning knife. I thought I did that. Unlock the warrior bruiser. Oh. Right, okay. So we have to get a specific. So we'll go for, so the bruiser, heavy weapons? Yeah, we're going to go for heavy weapons, I think. Let's do that, okay, so we're going to need to gather those bits again. So what do we need? For two-handed sword, we need branch, stone, a lot of stone, and twine. So let's get the, some more of those branches, because I just wasted those ones making this thing. Get some more bushes, get some more fiber. Fiber to make twine. One thing I do like about this game, which I noticed when I was doing a little bit of a trial run earlier, is that when you're crafting things, if you require other materials that have to be crafted, like twine from plant fiber, you don't have to craft the twine before crafting the weapon. It will automatically know that you need the twine and it will craft that from the materials in your pouch. Which is a nice little, you know, uh, quality of life set up where you're not actually having to keep doing everything yourself every five seconds. So let's see if that's enough stuff. So I like here it's I've got, I haven't got any twine already, but I do have the material to craft it. So for craft it, you'll see down here that it's going to craft the twine first, and then it's going to craft the sword. I like little things like that. It's definitely something where they thought about the player not needing to do literally everything themselves. I feel like the game is one of those games that will be difficult enough without needing to punish you for every little thing. Follow the road out the desert. The road leads further north. It's time to leave the scorching heat of the desert behind. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Let us go. So, you can see some trees over there. So which way we want to go? Just want to head straight north through. Follow the path, I suppose. What we don't want to do is head anywhere we're not supposed to be this early on in the game. Get away, get ourselves near some water, get some food, and build our first home. Bedroll designed for respawning point in case you perish while adventuring. I'm sure that won't happen. So what do we need? So let's craft one of these. I'm not going to place it down just here. I'll pl try and place it down in a uh, an area that makes sense. So here we go, let's gather some more of this stuff while we're here. Try and make our way over to some water. The bad guy up there. Couple of weird turtle things over there. Weird little fat zombie man. We'll have to work out what these things are called. That's how we roll. How do we lock on? See how we lock on. Like that, okay. Let's 
Let's get down here. We'll get over to the water's edge. Find somewhere where we can potentially think about set. Oh, oh dear. So you take full damage in this game. Not very punishing, which is good. Oh, something's killed something over there. Don't see what it is. Looks like one of those zombies and one of those turtles have had a fight. But we're not going to get involved in that just yet. So I think about here is a good area to maybe think about getting some more objectives done and potentially build a house out here. Somewhere where we'd be able to find it quite easily should there be any issues. Those are some iconic looking statues. I wonder if there's something over there. Maybe we'll get over to that after we've built the house. So what we need to do, we need to place the bedroll down on the floor. So we're going to place that just over here out of the way. And slay an enemy. Definitely feel like taking on one of the small ones for now. Let's see how this goes. So what we got? Light attack. Heavy attack. And dodge roll. Okay, got it. Oh. You have to be pretty close to actually hit things. Oh, nice and easy. One hit. That's what I like. Craft rough wraps. Done. Heal yourself with a bandage. How did it know I fell off the cliff? No one saw that. Harvest meat from a corpse. Easy peasy. Refill my water skin. If it's like, oh, I could just go use the water skin while standing water. Yep. Unlock primitive cook from the knowledge menu. Okie dokie. And place a campfire on the ground. Need some more stone. Let's grab some more stone. Okay, I've got a handful of insects from hitting the stone. Gather a bunch of this stuff. There we go. Should be enough for now. So, let's build a campfire. We can craft that. Where'd our bedroll go? Oh, right there. So hard to see it blends in with the ground. Put the uh, the fire next to that so we don't lose it. Cook the raw meat. So, the raw meat is this. Is that the only bit of meat we got? Oh, I suppose we only killed a little one, didn't we? And we need to get ourselves some wood by the looks of it. So let's see. Is that what that other tool I crafted was for? Let's move these over. Stone cleaver. Is that like a hatchet? Oh. Nope. Oh. Hatchet. There we go. What do we need? More branches. Well oiled machine. We're totally prepared for this. There we go. Right. All part of the plan. Fantastic. So, I don't know what this thing... What does this thing actually do? A crudely crafted cleaver, does it? For butchering. Oh, I, I was... Okay, so if we harvest an animal with that, we probably get more meat from it. And what we've got? Skinning knife, we'll probably get more hide type from it. Okay. I mean, I feel... Uh, so far, my first impression is that there is a lot of things that you're going to end up needing to assign to your hotbars. And having only one hotbar... Instead of being able to scroll through many, I feel like it's going to put us at a bit of a disadvantage, but we'll see how we get on. Maybe the game's the kind of game it's not so urgent to have so many things. You can do things a little bit slower than other games, but we'll see. So we've got a bit of shredded roast. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Eat a cooked meal. Fantastic. That was absolutely delicious. Right, so that completes the survivor part of the journey. Where we got journeys, so we've got knowledge attributes. Journey is here, so now we can claim our reward. Fantastic. Step one done. There's nothing here that really specifies where you're supposed to be going in terms of completing the story of the game. So I imagine that's just based on venturing and discovering. Survival shelter. So this one's going to teach us how to build a house. I feel that is a good way to start our journey. 
Unlock Apprentice Mason from the Knowledge Menu. Apprentice Mason. Fantastic. Equip a stone hatchet and swing it at trees. Wish it told us that a minute ago. Let's go. I feel like we're going to need a little bit more wood than what we've got. I'm not the kind of person that just builds, you know, a one by one house. Hiding it over night time until uh, daytime comes. So one thing we'll have to work out is uh, how well... Can we take these? No, we can. I would have thought that guy over there would have got aggressive about it. Stay over there, Jerry. Don't get any closer. Couple more. Get this tree and then we'll have a look about crafting what he wants us to craft. Cool. Right, what does it want? It wants to craft a construction hammer. Typically, I do not have enough twine. get on these bushes get some more bushes let's clear these ones out all right let's try that again construction hammer craft don't need that right now keep the hand ropes on the hot bar we'll get rid of those Bugs, what are they for? Keep the starvation at bay barely, so. Oh, forgot about this. We've got this we can use. What'd they give us? Some stone, very nice, some wood. Oh, quite a lot of stone and wood. We are over encumbered now. Fantastic. Can we still move? Okay, so we can move while we're encumbered. We can move very slowly. Can we roll? No. Jump? We can still jump. Okay, but we can't roll. Okay. So let us equip the hammer onto the hotbar and then press F. Okay. So build a foundation. Which way are we going to go? We'll go out. We're going to have a nice view of these uh, stone statues. So you can't place down foundations where you're standing. Good to know, good to know. Cool. Oh, you can do standing foundations. Oh, I thought it was going to be hollow. Okay. If that was hollow, that would be pretty cool. Get some of the materials back. Build a wall. Do you want better? I'm going to build several walls. We don't do no one-story house. We need to be able to have a little bit of headroom. All right. Select builder places. We have a couple of windows at the front. Oh, that's not what we want to do. Give a little bit of depth and feel to the house. Back to the wall structure. I think we're out of... Yeah, we're out of stone. Let's quickly go grab us some more stone. Go through materials very quickly in the building process, but I think it's just because where the building is quite easy to do, like it feels easy to like place down and understand where you're actually putting things down. I know I say that even though I just uh, placed something in the wrong place, but it does definitely feel a lot easier than other games. I love the way that when you hit the stone, the stone actually breaks apart. That's a really nice touch, really well thought out. ones. Oh, we leveled up from getting stone. Very nice. Build a door frame. That is the next goal, but let's finish the walls first. So, one there. One there. Door frame. There. We need a wall above it. 
and build a piece picker. Use the piece piece picker. Okay. Oh, I see. So you can. Oh, okay. So you can select it. Why did it tell you to build more walls after you finish building walls? Just gonna remove those. Build a ceiling. Ceiling piece, this one here. Cool. And then build a door. What do we need? Got enough pieces for that? So do I actually have to craft the twine for this one? Yeah. So even though we had the materials to actually craft the door, we do need to go into our inventory to get the twine for those. Fantastic. Unlock the box maker knowledge. Box maker, this one. Yep. Unlock that. And now we can craft the box. What do we need for that? Oh, I didn't see the materials. 100 wood to craft a box. That seems quite extortionate. And 12 twine, so we need to go gather some more fibre. So let's put that away for now. Guys, if you have any tips or advice to help me survive in Conan, or have any advice on where I should be heading to or not heading to, uh, please let me know in the comments. So I have absolutely no idea where we're going. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error and just walking around and exploring. Trying to find some people who are about. I'm, gonna f I'm definitely going to fight that thing in a second. I'm not the kind of guy that's afraid to have a go at something, you know? Mate, I might not be saying that later on if we have decent weapons and armour and this thing, something we're obviously not going to be able to beat. Can you harvest these? I imagine they're just like trees. Need some more bushes. I'll get to you in a minute. Couple more, it should be fine. I think I need 36 fibre, I think it was. There we go, that should be 36 fibre. Cool, so we can still walk at normal speed as well whilst we are crafting, we're not hindered, which is nice. There we go, and we can craft our box and put our box down there. Store something in our box. What do we have? We'll put our leather journal in there, sure. Fantastic, that's another journey done. We receive our journey rewards, let's claim that. Fantastic. We'll see if we can move this stuff inside now. Can we move this after we placed it? Return to inventory, move placeable. That's what we want to do. Just want to place this down inside our house. Cool. Don't need to punch the bedroll. What about this? Can we move this? Yes. I like the fact you can move things once they're placed. You haven't. You're not sort of like stuck to one concept if you don't like it. So now we're going to go and get ourselves some more meat. Get some food cooking. Uh, let's have some more water. I don't know if there's a drawback to like drinking multiple gulps from your flask other than using the water that's in it. Alright, so let's get rid of the little one just in case he joins in the fight. Really got used to this range. We're standing on top of things in order to fight it all the time. Oh. Wow, it really punishes you for running out of stamina. You be really careful. There we go, we're out of stamina again. I can see it by this health bar we've managed to apply some sort of debuff, like movement speed debuff or something. But all in all, pretty easy fight. Nothing too challenging. Let's have a look at this hatchet then, because we're not building anything right now. Let's get rid of that. Oh, we've got its head. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, these these seem to be a sort of weaker 
mobs. Imps. Oh, there we go. Look, defeat imps. One of ten. What's that for? Challenges? Defeat imps. And that gives us 30 experience times 10. Is that for our character level? Or it appears to be... What is this? Oh, I see. It's, so these challenges increase your battle pass. And you've got free and purchased battle pass. Uh, battle pass seems to be full of cosmetics. So we're not going to worry about the battle pass in this. So... I don't know if those challenges are really worth us doing. No, we should get some experience for it. Doesn't really do anything for us whether we do them or not in terms of what we are aiming to do in the game. Oh, we've got some extra points there. Heavy blows, heavy special attacks, deal 10% more damage. Fantastic. And then I think expertise. Tools lose durability half as quickly. Hunger and first defeat, 33% slower. Well, that could definitely be useful too. So let's get a couple of points in there. We'll try and get to that first one. Definitely be helpful. So, and then again, we're going to try and harvest from this guy. 12 feral flesh. That's pretty pretty good for that guy. We've got some, one more of these little guys over here. Oh, we've got that one there to harvest. Oh. Right, sprint attack actually gives a decent amount of uh, gap, clo gap closure. Cool, get some eggs. Fantastic. So let's go get that all started cooking on the fire. on start cooking what does this do head of a shale back an ingredient worker bee is a consumable I don't know personally if I would like to ingest a worker bee but you know needs must and all that jazz I suppose Ooh, last in feast healing wraps aloe extract extract from aloe plants rawhide bedroll I don't know if that's any better than our current bedroll but Store some of these items for now in case we do bite the dust. Uh, interactive bedroll, spawn point updated. So I don't think we're going to need this sort of stuff right now. Let us throw this stuff in. We'll keep the healing wraps, lasting feast. Got a decent amount of meat cooking right now. Some stone and some iron stone. We'll leave this stuff here. Don't need to carry that around with us. We're going to go have a little bit of adventure down the beach. Go see what's at the, uh, the big old statues down the road. So, wait for this food to cook up. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, the meat cooks pretty quick, so... Get all the meat together. Got an extra water skin. Has that one got any water in it? Yeah, so they're both filled up, so... Right, let's take a mosey on down the beach. Leave our house here. We could definitely be able to spot that from a little ways away, so we shouldn't get too lost. Let's go have a look down the beach, see what we can find. Go have a look under here. Definitely going to be fighting any creatures we can along the way, because we want the experience. So I can see over there we've got some of these uh, turtle guys over there. I think the head was a shaleback head, so... Shalebacks, they are called. Oh, we have a crocodinosaur. Let's go and kill a crocodinosaur. And a couple of people over here. We've got three people here. What we got? What are we saying? Watch that stamina. Can we get a couple of combos in? Yeah, we can. Got a little bit of range on their lunge attack. So we can do two light attacks and then a heavy attack before we run out of stamina. Easy peasy. Wait, hold on, what do we want? We want this. Some flesh and some fangs. Right. So I can see the one guy over there. And we've got two guys here seeing by the fire. So we'll try and take the guy on his own first. If we can go over there without being seen. Oh, he's got he's got range. Close the gap quickly. Oh. 
try and keep them both in our sights. Cool. It's really dangerous to run out of stamina. It moves you so slowly. Oh, nice. We've got a nice pick there. Is that going to be better than our current pick? Yeah, let's heal up a bit. Got a bit covered in blood there. Go see what that guy over there has got as well. We're going to skin these guys or whatever, butcher them for their meat. Oh, completely missed. Oh no, maybe that's not the right tool for it. It's human flesh and some bones. Cool. Yeah, did this guy drop anything? Some arrows. Not too bad, I don't think, our first encounter. We've got an iron pick. Definitely an upgrade for a tool already. That's fantastic. A little bit damaged, we haven't got much durability less on that, but hey, we got it for free, so... Oh, right. What else we got? Some more shale backs over there. Head a little bit further around. The Sentinels. Uh, that's what they're called. So where does that place us on the map? So we've only come a little ways down the beach, so... But we have got a map location for it. Oh, and it does display on our map where our bedroll is. At least we can't get lost on the way back to the house. Map markers definitely are a good addition to a game. So many times I'd be out adventuring in massive maps like this and I'll just get completely thrown off guard and get lost because I get sidetracked to seeing, like, ooh, shiny thing, ooh, shiny thing, and I'm just one step after another and get myself further and further away. So what have we got here then? A fire here. Are you a bad guy? Can't lock on to him. Don't know if this guy's gonna ag me. Are you gonna ag me? No? Okay. Oh, my stomach hurts apparently. Oh, we're hungry. Let's uh, have some of this roast haunch. Wow. That fills up our hunger quite nicely. Who are you then? Arcos the Wanderer. Another new one, eh? I can smell it on you. Veterans tend to smell just a little more like despair. I'm Arcos. Once a sailor, now a wanderer. You didn't think you were the only one, did you? <laughs> you should go up north. There's whole cities of exiles up there. Well, I wonder if that's our first hint on where we need to be heading. Learn polite clap a moment. In the beginning, there were only a few of us. But now, it seems like fresh-faced fools are showing up every week. Not all of them are as friendly as I am, mind you. Watch your step. A lot of desperate people out there. Good advice, thank you very much. You got anything else to say? Race. Those pillars keep us confined here. Some call it the curse wall or the ghost fence or just the boundary. Doesn't really matter what it's called, does it? I walked all the way around it once. Had to be careful not to cross it, of course. Once in the north, I saw a few people on the other side, wearing bracelets just like ours. With gems of amber. Makes you wonder. Anything else? Smaller, but I bet a few pass through. We all have mad theories about what the ruins scattered around here are. The Myriads, Giant Kings, Kari, Malusian Serpent Men. Do those names mean anything to you? Nope. Never mind. It's my experience that many have their minds in the past get eaten by crocodiles in the present. Words to live by. Good luck, Exile. It's a tough world out there. Thank you, Arcos. No doubt we will be back soon. So, to the north, is there any noticeable landmarks to the north? Obviously, there's this big city over here, but that's not really... It's north of us, but it's more to the west. Looks to be some sort of, like, building here. So, maybe we should attempt to make some form of crossing and head just north and see what we can see no visible pathway through the mountains so maybe we'll head over in that direction can we swim let's see right we can swim that's good swimming cools us down as well so we have to pay attention to how hot we're getting to i imagine that'll affect uh, our thirst and hunger oh we've got another crocodile over here we're going to go and take him on because we need to get some experience to level up Come on, 
wait for him to attack us. There we go. So one, two, heavy attack, roll. Very nicely, I'll stamina to build up one, two, heavy attack and roll. Now look, see we've got method going now. We're unstoppable! Oh, he's trying to stop us. Roll, very nice. Nice. And we leveled up. Fantastic. Don't appear to have got anything from that. Am I using this wrong? I don't know. For butchering. I didn't get anything from it, I don't think. Maybe we tr craft this skinning knife and try that out. What do we need for that? S branches and stone. Let's get those materials. See if we can find some branches while we're walking around. What are these? Got some dog things over here. Oh, these are hyenas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I was expecting them not to have as much health as they do. I didn't press that extra click for the swing, but we'll have to take it. Oh, 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 oh. Right, I think we're out of our depth here. Hold up. Oh, hold up, hold up. Get a ways away. Haha! -ha! I found your weakness, animals. Water. Oh, dang. Not all of their weaknesses, apparently. Take this opportunity. Well, that was a little bit trickier than I was expecting. So, packs. Packs are not good for us whilst we are alone. Oh, is that all we had for healing? Oh, we've got a healing wrap here. Hold on, let's use that. That's more like it. Oh. Well, at least he waited for us to heal up. I need to stop letting myself run out of stamina. <laughs> oh well. That was significantly more difficult. I definitely prefer fighting the alligators. That was only one of these guys. There's three of them over there. Let's craft some more of these. What do we need? Plant fiber. Right. I don't want to skin that thing with the hatch here if we're not going to get anything for it. Or butcher it with the hatch, I should say. What's attacking me now? No? Oh. No! Wow, you're a big guy. What are you? Whoa! Hold on. Is he bigger than that one? He looks bigger. Looks angrier. Excuse me, mate. I was not ready. I was in the middle of uh, trying to get some lunch. Oh no, it's almost night time as well. Right, we need to get some distance. Hopefully, the big turtle cannot swim faster than us. Oh, we seem. Has he lost interest in us? I've got to open my backpack now. Oh. So far, that side of the stream, safe. This side of the stream, not so safe. Oh, we're getting close to those hyenas again. Sort of stuck between two now. Right, so we need to craft more of these. Do, do we not pick up enough plant fiber from that? Are we getting plant fiber? We are. Oh, so it's 10 per one. Okay. Oh. Need to get ourselves a torch. It's getting quite difficult to see. I don't know what the visibility for you guys is like. Watching this video back, but it's definitely... Can we increase the gamma? Video. Let's try gammering up. No, I don't really like that. That's not much better.
what if we just hold a torch to see how effective the torches are in this game? Cool. So, we'll go with this for now. I mean, to be honest with you, I probably can't see much better than what you guys can in the dark anyway. So we can attack with the torch. Don't know how effective that is. Let's craft these. Ah, oh, so we get three reps per one we craft, so that's good. It's definitely a lot of healing. We're gonna need it. Let's get use this other one. So we're gonna come back for that shale back. I uh, just wanna explore north a little bit. See what we can see. We're a little bit of a disadvantage now with it being night time. I don't know if there's a way that you can see the time of day. Oh, so we've got a moon passing, I see, okay. So we are going to climb up this mountain and try and get a bit of high ground and see if we can get a lay of the land. Probably not the best time to do it at night time, but. gotta do what you gotta do when you need to survive get in the high ground seems like a smart idea to me what are you oh my god it is a killer deer away foul animal Oh, we got a gazelle head. Fantastic. I imagine these things are just like trophy mounts, because it doesn't tell you what it is. It just says ingredient gazelle head. Horn, horn of the beast. It doesn't tell you what they're for. Don't know if they're worth keeping or you trade them or anything like that. I don't know. Alright, how are we getting on? Oh, you're a little bit tougher. You big gazelle. Don't know if the sword would be much more effective against them. It probably would be if I could hit them. Oh, they're definitely more powerful. Slow them down beforehand. I don't know if it's the type of weapon I'm using, but when you try to attack things with this sword, it, the reach seems really shallow for what it actually, for the size of the weapon. You'd feel like you should have a little bit more reach. I feel like I'd have the same reach using a short sword. So we're about to reach the top of this mountain. What is that? I'm thinking not right now. <laughs> I've nearly got to the top of the mountain, I don't want to die right now. Maybe we should have brought a um, sleeping bag with us. I don't know if we could place down multiple spawning points. Ah, that's what we've got over here. So we've got some Eye of Sauron Tower over there. Got some ruins over that direction. Ooh, we've got like a little village over here. Maybe this is one of the towns that they were talking about. Go have a look. See, I don't know if that's like a ruin or a town or something over there. That looks to be the ruins that's way off in the distance over here. That's what's going to be this structure. I don't know if that's like a main hub or anything like that. This seems to be a little town. See some people here. Some exiles. Are these friendly ones? Or are these not friendly ones? Let's have a look. See if we can lock on them one day. Well, they're shouting at me, so. Well, they're not friendly, that's for sure. Well, we've got Defari Fighter 2. No, I didn't do that extra swing. Gotta be careful. If you click mid swing, you still count your attack. So we've got to make sure not to accidentally get a bit trigger happy just clicking away. 
That wasn't too bad. We took him out pretty easily. I feel like fighting multiple enemies in this game is going to be pretty tough. I can see the archer over there. And we've got a soldier here. Is that an archer as well? I think they're both archers. So we're trying to take them on one at a time if I can. Can we use the rock as cover? Can you shoot through the rock? You gonna come? Come? Yeah, ah, ah. Juk, 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 juk. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, now she's got a club. Oh. I feel like I'm at a severe disadvantage at the minute. So, archers have crippling shots as well, so they can stop you moving. something off of him. What's this? Tafari skin chest piece. Is this like a new, che new chest armor? What does that do? Armor value of 14 versus our armor value of 2. So this thing gives us, this necklace gives us more protection. Oh, and we get strength weapon damage plus 3%. And it makes us look boss. So let's go with that. Right, let's heal up again. Did she go back to her original spot? Oh no, she's hiding behind the palisades over there. So what I think we need to do is just kind of rush her, get her we're arranged. What's the sprinting attack? I think we have to be sprinting for a bit of time. You can't just like go straight to... Did she get me again? She did as well. There we go. Right, and she's gonna switch weapons. Oh, God, we've got a call on the Palisades, that's useful for us. Come on, stamina regen. You're Definitely something we need to work me. on. It. Got a coin of some sort there. Some fibre and stone. Right, let's get over to this guy. Oh, I can hear other people in the background. Heard a female shout over there. Okay, let's get some distance. See if we can reaper this to a one on one. Oh, dear. Ow! Ow! Oh, we got our first death. Oh, well, I mean, I should have probably stayed with the idea of just trying to get back to one-on-one -on -one fights early on in the game. But, you know, first one, not too bad. Had a little bit of an excursion to see what was out and about. We've respawned on the wrong side of our wall. But we'll get back over to where our corpse is. Well, I think that's going to be the end of the first episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what I should be doing next, please. And I'll see you guys in the next one.